Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Sacred Soul Star Family of our Divine 144. Happy Pleiadian Gateway and Day 3 of 10 Galactic Activation Portal Days in a Row on the Mayan Zoltkin Calendar. We have another day of Trinity Codes and activations flowing into the field from the Most High. Our local Solaris continues to release powerful CMEs and solar flares with multiple C-class flares and two more M-class flares today. There have been 48 solar flares released from the sun in the past 48 hours. These flares and CMEs are flooding Gaia with higher dimensional gamma plasma rainbow rays of 5D and beyond. Pachamama also received two more powerful activations today with a magnitude 6.8 earthquake by Prince Edward Island in the Indian Ocean at 1456 UTC and an M6.1 quake in the Solomon Islands, Sun of the Moon, in the South Pacific at 1545 UTC. We also had another spike on the Schumann charts today at 25 Hz. Today the sun also enters into the air sign of Gemini, bringing in more of the divine union codes of the eagle and the condor, and the holy winds of change of our great shift of the ages. Our starseed earth angelics of the 144 are receiving downloads directly from the great central sun. In the zero-point energy of today's portal, the stillness is being experienced within the core of our being. The unchanging, eternal Buddha mind is resolving all things perfectly in this now. Mother Earth and all her children of the sun are in the final stages of clearing, cleansing, and purging all that is not in alignment and resonance with our 5D new earth. We keep lighting up the grid with the threefold flame of our heart centers as we rise together in the glory of the dawning of the new golden age of eternal life. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle with PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred new earth scribes. So be sure to listen to the very end where we release a very powerful hymn to the goddess Isis. And please do us a favor and share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. And now we continue with the Sabian symbols. Right now the moon is at zero degree one minute Cancer. The sun is at zero degree 49 minutes Gemini. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at one degree Gemini. A glass bottom boat reveals undersea wonders, and the current Sabian symbol for the moon at one degree cancer. On a ship, the sailors lower an old flag and raise a new one. From astrologyweekly.com. And today, from Divine Brothor of the Light, Chamtru Rinpoche. Samsara is the beginningless and uncontrollable cycle of birth, death, and rebirth in different planes of existence. Even though your mind has experienced the birth and death of a body infinite times, your mind is beyond birth and death. It has never come into existence, and it will never go out of existence. Even when it is finally free from samsara, only its state changes. Once liberated from samsara and all of its sufferings, it is impossible to fall back. Please contemplate this extremely carefully. You have now met the Buddha Dharma that shows you the way to liberation. But your precious human rebirth is running out every moment, and every moment counts on the path. From Chamtru Rinpoche And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Sophie Gregoire Truth is being revealed and exposed. 441 coming in. You can't trust what you see, how other people make you feel. There is this calling for change you've heard over and over. It will never be the perfect time to do this. Maybe the time is just now. 
Life will find its ease based on your choices, your yes and your no. You hold the reins, you write the story, go where your heart is loved and received. Sometimes the greatest savior is you. From SophieGregoire.com And from Divine Broth of the Light Holger Kirchhoff, the final countdown is here. For a new global love light atmosphere, glow in your golden now as unique frequencies show. And from Divine Sister of the Light Christina Moracetti, solar activity, portal off the charts. Head, eyes, jaw, throat, and kundalini purging process accelerating. It's important to be aware and fully conscious of this. And from Divine Sis Star of the Light Jessica Woods, there is a noticeable clairvoyance occurring for the inner well-being of the human. A collection of signs and synchronicities are being received as direct intuitive knowing of the higher purpose attached to said sensations relative to reality, feeling aligned. And from Divine Brother of the Light Pars Kute, Love is the greatest divine energy. We are now entering the pivotal phase in our lives. Our inner world is the sacred essence of God's source. We joyfully embrace the boundless abundance that gracefully pours into every aspect of our lives. We wholeheartedly welcome the magnificent opportunities that empower us to unleash the limitless potential. We are now becoming an infinite, multidimensional, divine being of light, within divine love of one, Pars Kute. And from divine sister of the light, Ali Ray, you can feel it, your heart knows. Steady in the heart, beloveds, keep returning to your heart. No matter the triggers or the wobbles flowing through with the increased light, keep breathing, keep returning to your heart, steady as we flow. You are a frequency master in the process of remembrance. Your heart knows. Keep breathing. Before you know it, you will be smiling with your entire being. And if you aren't smiling now, that's okay. Feel what needs to be felt and heal what needs to be healed. Absolutely all of it will help you to get centered in your heart. The center is the sweet spot. I so love you, beloveds. You are not alone. You are so very loved. And all is truly well. Love is, love is, love is. God is, God is, God is. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Ra James. The Pleiades shifts into its full alignment passing behind the sun May 21st. We are moving more into the peak of the Pleiadian portal, Stargate to the Pleiades. Expect a ton of Pleiadian energies and energies from the sun. Pleiadians are soul healers, deep spiritual and soul healing, channeled energies to raise up your energy levels, making your energy stronger. All about lifting up your energies and what you're manifesting. Solar storms kicking off in the background. Earth is opening up more, allowing more of these solar winds in. Expect a lot of galactic energies through the 24th. You may be feeling a lot lighter right now. Ascension symptoms coming up that are pointing towards blocks in your system. This could be simply needing more rest or manifesting higher new earth timelines. Tap into more of your healing gifts. Activating your healer lineage. Activating more of your soul gifts and ability to heal and work with the energies. You are an old soul with many soul gifts, waking up to your connection to the Pleiades. Connect to the Pleiadians and other star family. Download new light codes and access new abilities. Access gifts and knowledge from the starseed realm. Enhance intuition and multidimensional communication. We are also in a space of galactic activation portal days until the 28th. That means we are going through an entire series of upgrades over the next week. Lots of clearing and activating energies. It's a great time to be connecting with all of these Pleiadian energies. The Pleiades and the sun are halfway through a dance that they complete at the point of the summer solstice. This dance takes on the form of an infinity shape. 
powerful energies for love and soul mate and twin flame connections over the next month ahead. You may be feeling extra love or extra magnetic to your person if they are in your life or around you. Expect major DNA activations as Alcyon, the brightest star of the Pleiades, shifts into a direct solar alignment with our sun. From Sparks of Divine Light Healing dot com, ten ten flowing in, from Ascension Light Workers to the Ascending Star Seed and Light Worker. There's been electrifying surges and explosions recently in solar activity, which will possibly increase ascension symptoms such as exhaustion, headaches, back and neck tension, and a sore, irritable throat. Other types of recent ascension symptoms are physical aches, pains, and emotional highs and lows that feel uncomfortable. They serve as signposts on the journey towards greater awakening and awareness, the understanding of self, and the changing outer world. Through this higher awareness, there is a choosing to release inner suffering and make the conscious decision to embrace the freedom and joy that resides within self and this comes from living in higher self-alignment, which is love, light, and knowing. The universe has recently undergone a significant energy shift, with a higher increase in magnetic energy. Because of this, the Earth has experienced a significant shift in its axis. There has been a rise in collective global consciousness that will now start to bring in positive shifts and changes and possibly in some surprising and welcoming ways. Radical changes for starseeds who have come from other star systems, planets, and galaxies to help humanity awaken and shift to a higher level of collective consciousness. They often feel out of place in the ordinary world, and as they develop more consciousness, knowledge, and wisdom, they appear crazier to others in the mainstream world. The truth is that they were always overqualified for the so-called normal world. Star seeds, keep in mind, the higher you ascend, the smaller you may appear to those who choose not to. As you continue to rise, you may feel like you are disappearing to others. This is because they can't see you any more beyond an energetic and ascended point. There is now too much vibrational distance in energy between you on your ascending path, you have possibly noticed many others that were on your path just start to fizzle out and drift away. This is because everything and everyone that comes into your life will need to be in your vibrational alignment. To step into higher alignment, star seed, it's time to ground yourself into these new earth energies and acknowledge all of your growth and ascension so far from mental to physical to spiritual. There have been amplified changes in your mental, physical, and spiritual spaces to continue rising gradually and organically. This next chapter is all about fulfilling more of your dreams. Healing and purging are always a big part of the ascension process. Activations in the pineal gland and higher heart are realigning the lower chakras with the higher heart, while clearing away old energy debris and cutting away negative magnetic cords that keep you attached to an old version of self. This helps bring back inner harmony and balance on a personal and collective level. Heavy defense systems and ancestral history, deep grief over several generations, communication issues, and feelings of fear and madness are some of the examples of what is being healed and purged from deep within the cellular body structure, which consists of cellular memory, cellular regeneration, and cellular rejuvenation, healing the very core issues of past abandonment and rejection wounding, bonding issues, and abundance of emotional, mental, and spiritual energy is just as important. Ascension is never a contest or race. We are all masters, teachers, and students on a transforming human journey where no one is ahead or behind. As star seeds are always in the exact place they are meant to be at any given time, and as they continue to ascend, they are helping many others along the way 
and creating positive changes for the collective human consciousness by emitting their energy frequency onto the planet. Each and every one is as important, valued, and needed here as the next one. This is why it is important to value yourself along the way while ascending here on planet Earth. Gaia is our true mother on this planet. She is the loving organic essence, the nurturer and loving giver. In fact, she never stops giving. Spending conscious time in nature helps strengthen your immune system and to strengthen your bond with Mother Earth. Healing in nature is the strongest medicine for the ascending starseed. This is now about surrendering all that is not in your control to the higher realms of creation. And sometimes surrender can mean giving up trying to understand and becoming comfortable in the not knowing. This is how to navigate and become aligned with Earth's new energy as it is in constant and rapid change. By surrendering, you are trusting in the higher forces and powers that are beyond the false appearance of the 3D physical world. In loving and devoted starseed lightworker service, Ascension Lightworkers. From Divine Sistar of the Light Aurora Ray, Pleiadian Message for Humanity. Dear Beloved Ones, Today I'd like to share a wonderful message from the Pleiadians. It's always important to keep your vibration high and get messages from the universe in order to receive the highest vibrations within ourselves. All we have to do now is keep our eyes open and keep moving forward, learning and growing spiritually. That is why I am sharing this message. Dear Earthlings, we are the Pleiadians and our home planet is the Pleiades, a star system of seven planets located in the constellation of Taurus. We are vastly spread out across the universe and have colonized many worlds. We were once united, but now we are separated into 13 different colonies. We have been watching you for some time now, and we have decided to make our presence known in a very special way. We come in peace. We are from the future, and we are here to assist you in your ascension process. We are sending you this message through this channel because we have been waiting for a very long time to contact you. Reality is not what it seems to be, and there are many beings like us who have been communicating with you since your beginnings. Please share this message with everyone else who cares about the fate of humanity. The reason why we have been contacting you is that we want you to understand that your reality is not what it seems to be, that there is much more than what you see on a daily basis. There are ancient ruins on earth that show evidence of civilizations existing before yours and that there was a huge catastrophe that destroyed most life on earth and almost destroyed the planet itself. Your history has changed according to your needs. So some things have been erased from history while others have been kept in order for humans to grow spiritually. We know that many people do not believe in us or in extraterrestrial beings, but we are here nonetheless. We want to create a loving alliance with humanity in order to help accelerate your spiritual growth. Your planet is at a crossroads where it can either ascend into a higher dimension or continue to spiral down into doom and destruction. You have created a magnificent civilization and have been at the forefront of exploration and scientific achievement for many centuries. But you have also created terrible weapons that could destroy your planet many times over, and now they are being used. You live in a time when humans still believe that they are alone in the universe, even though evidence has long since shown that another life exists. You can see our ships in the sky everywhere if you want. Sometimes they are transparent, sometimes they are visible, and sometimes they are invisible. There is no need to hide them because they are here to help you and your Mother Earth. Over the past few years, we have shown you our ships from time to time and hope that you have been enjoying them. Now we are preparing for our landing on the planet Earth. We would like to invite you to be part of the experience with us. We are here now to assist you in your awakening process. 
We wish for you to join us in celebration of the greatest event in your planet's history. As always, we come in peace and love in our hearts. This is not a war, but a great awakening. Whatever happens, it will be a smooth transition for everyone. We are here to assist you in every way possible. Our fleet is much closer to your planet now, and the shift in energy is already being felt. Some people are already experiencing the effects of this new energy. We will land on your planet with our huge mothership. It will be so large that it can cover a small city like Washington, D.C. in its shadow. Your scientists know that everything is made up of atoms. Our mothership contains atoms far more organized than any you have ever seen or imagined before. The mothership is made of special materials that are not available on your planet. It will emit a beautiful angelic glow and be surrounded by clouds of multicolored lights and sounds. These lights and sounds will connect with the DNA of all living things on earth and lift them into higher levels of consciousness, activating the higher chakras in each human being. When the mothership lands, our first act will be to hug everyone on earth and share greetings from our star brothers and sisters who have visited your planet in the past. We love you very much. We are already in connection with your ascended masters who made their crystalline bodies a long time ago. They will meet us on our arrival as well. When we meet your leaders and officials, we will greet them with great honor as we are a peaceful civilization. We will land in your area and come down to greet you personally. We will introduce ourselves and answer any questions that you may have. We will be bringing a special gift for all of your pets as well. On our arrival, we will emit a 5D omnipotent energy, which is a high-frequency wave that will refresh and awaken every aspect of your being and allow you to embrace new possibilities in your life your DNA will change from a carbon base to a crystalline base in a moment. We welcome all of Earth's inhabitants and their pets to join us on the beautiful ship. The best way to prepare for our arrival is to be in a good mood. Be happy and laugh a lot. Be nice to each other and help the people around you. Right now, your attitude towards other people is important. Experience the feeling of being in this higher vibration as often as possible. If you can do it, it will become easier every day. This is a time where the higher vibrations take over. Now is the time to dream big and create the reality you desire. It's time to get happy and have fun. We love you dearly. We are here with you. We are your family of light. Aho, Aurora Ray, Ambassador of the Galactic Federation from the galacticfederation.com. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Karen Lithica, the Elementals. We are the Sprites, the Undines, and the Dwellers of Light, the Light Weavers of Crystalline Light. A living dance in the higher realms, see us in the sprigs of new growth, the delicate rain droplets shining on a leaf. Moments of higher light vibrations, the purity of creation, a connection to us, a doorway to the higher realms, simple pure light opportunities, elemental exercise, simply sit in nature, close your eyes and smile, connect to your heart and feel love. When it feels right, open your eyes, observe your surroundings, observe the light, look for a twinkle, a unique leaf, a smile in nature, the magic of life. Simply open your heart to us. You will find us. The nature elementals. For the journey to light is all around us. From KarenLithica.com And today from Here in the Moon Astrology, the week ahead, May 21st through the 28th, 2023. At the intersection of fate and free will. What if life has bigger ideas for you than you do? Michael Neal This week Jupiter magnifies everything good or bad as Pluto, Saturn, and Mars stir the ethers into a high-octane cocktail. Depending on whether you're evolving or devolving, things could go either way, delivering a fall from grace, pride, self-inflation, power struggles, 
or problem-solving progress and prosperity, and a rare and welcome moment of Kairos, Jupiter meets the karmic note of fate at two degrees, Taurus, sign of wealth and fertility, and a creative renaissance unfolds over the next days and weeks. Whichever aspect of your life is symbolized by one or three, Taurus is up for reinvention, an awakening, a somatic reboot, or artistic resurgence. In chaos theory terms, you have reached a tipping or saddle point somewhere between your comfort zone and infinity. The key is to balance living between structure, supportive routines, and surprise, the spontaneous, unplanned, and mysterious. Start now by deliberately making space for more random attractors of new people and new ideas, and by seizing emerging flickers of possibility. Jupiter is often described as lucky, but luck is created when you take risks, follow your hunches, and expand your world. Let go of assumptions that the future will look like the past. Be willing to have your thinking about yourself disrupted, disturbed, and disrobed to reveal the creative power and potential underneath. Ask yourself, if I were to put my highest interests first, what would I do differently starting now? From here on the moon astrology.co.uk and from divine sister of the light, Colleen Lemma, the sun, ruler of our self identity, shifted into Gemini, sign of the twins, at 3.09 a.m. EDT. Now, this brilliant ball of creative light is making a positive trine connection to mighty Pluto, planet of decay and renewal as he retrogrades through future-oriented Aquarius. It is a potent day of transformation if we allow for it. Transmute old aspects of yourself that you no longer wish to carry into the upcoming unfolding of your life's path. Think in a new way. Perceive in a new way. Communicate in a new way. Gemini rules the mental realm and all that goes with it. Pluto unearths the shadows, alchemizes them, and initiates a rebirth. Blessings of love and light to all. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Mars in Leo, opposite Pluto retrograde in Aquarius. The sun enters Gemini and trines Pluto. The T-square tension reaches boiling point. Sometime life gets in the way of what we want, and how we respond will govern what happens next. We can react, kick, scream, shake our fists at the gods, or we can take a beat, consider alternative routes, try another time, or accept that this road is not the path to fulfillment. Positively, there is a potent potential to take courageous action, to deliver on promises through sheer strength of will to beat the competition against all odds. Know that you are strong enough to deal with whatever life throws at you. Some things are worth fighting for, but pick your battles carefully. Avoid getting into power plays and one-upmanship. Know when to let go. If you can't change the world, change yourself. Reclaim your power, own your shadows. As we move into Gemini season, now more than ever, we must be open and curious to life. Read, listen, learn, keep talking. The more we learn, the greater the opportunity for creative freedom and constructive change. Forge connections with friends and neighbors. We are stronger together than divided. From LeahWhitehorse.com And today from the Zolkeen Times, Keen 108, Yellow self-existing star. Self-existing is the name for the number four and its key words are definition, form, and measure. The fourth day of a wave spell is about taking stock, looking at the details so that you are well informed as you proceed. It's the fourth day of the red serpent wave spell and the third portal day in a row. To get the most out of this journey, we must follow the instructions step by step just like a treasure hunt where we pick up the clues along the way. Today's clue is about paying attention to the little things. So be discerning, pay attention to the details, and do the necessary research. Today is Yellow Star, which represents beauty, art, 
and elegance. These days are all about appreciating the beauty in our lives. So throw open your curtains and rejoice the day. See the beauty in everyone you meet. We are all stars. Wear something gorgeous, engage in art, and make your world a prettier place. As it is a number four day and that represents definition and form. This suggests that there is beauty in, in examining the world in finer detail. If you are a yellow star, you'll enjoy today as you'll be the center of attention. For the rest of us, it's a great day for taking center stage and sparkling like a star. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, Yellow Self-Existing Star for Lamat Keen 108, 21st of May 2023, Defining Beautiful Forms. 21 5 2023 equals 357 equal 312 equal 33 equals 6 33 holy trinity joy portal 369 nikola tesla universal magic galactic activation portal day number three day codes 21 crown of the magi honor advancement elevation three holy trinity joy creativity 6. Heaven, Christ, Family, Harmony, Fertility. Month Year Codes. 5. Freedom, Liberation, Change, Transformation. 7. Magic, Mystic, Spiritual, Solitude, Initiation. 12. Acquiring Strength, Wisdom. 3. 20. The Awakening, Clear Vision. 23. Royal Star of the Lion, Strength, Protection, Support. Keen 108 equal 9, completion, 3 times 3, triple divinity, 369, Nikola Tesla code today, and more 9 codings through the Keen 108, the 9 elevates us to a higher purpose and thinking from a broader perspective, all divine qualities for our accelerated evolutionary journey through the red serpent wave spell and our initiation by fire experiencing the death and rebirth through the flight of the phoenix very exciting times indeed keen 108 equal 9 destiny service compassion humanity grace 108 is a sacred number the hindus and the buddhists claim that there are 108 divine names for god thus their prayer mala beads have 108 beads on a string with one guru bead around which the other 108 beads rotate like the planets around the sun. Mala beads are used for counting repeat mantras. Ancient Vedic mathematicians viewed 108 as a number of the wholeness of existence. This number also connects the sun, moon, and earth. The average distance of the sun and moon to the earth is 108 times their respective diameters. According to yogic tradition, there are 108 pithas, or sacred sites throughout India, and there are also 108 Upanishads and 108 Marma points, or sacred places of the body. Jose Arguelles Valum Votan, the father of the dream spell, always spoke of the galactic mind transmission within the law of time as GM108X, and Keen 108 operates in the mental realm, activating this codex. Kapow! So Keen 108 is a very sacred and divinely special day. This day has a very dreamy, ethereal quality to it. Tune in and feel it. A wonderful day to take some time out and daydream. It's a lovely day today, so whatever you've got to do, you've got a lovely day to do it in. Another divinely ordained day, get up and manifest your starry destiny. Day four in the Red Serpent Wave Spell of Survival, Instinct, Kundalini Rising, Life Force, Passion, and Rapid Transformation through Shedding Our Old Skin. Today we define beauty through activating our Kundalini energy and greater life force, igniting our passion and creating our art. Tone of creation, self-existing, tone four in the mental realm, action measures, power defines, essence form. Today we delve into the mental realm and use our minds to align with our highest potential, destiny, and define what it is we wish to create in our life. 
We can utilize all the electrical power generated yesterday and shape it into the form we desire through our thoughts and ideas. Self-existing number four takes form, and we have ourselves a square shape, self-existing, measuring, and defining. Very intelligent, fascinated by self, we now have built a sturdy platform upon which further growth takes place. Dispense with the rest and build your new solid foundations on the basis of your beautiful, elegant, and creative manifestations. What beautiful art will you create? In order for our life force to become enlivened and keep energized, we must think positively. Positive thoughts enhance our vitality, which in turn accelerates our manifestations into form. Beautiful thoughts that see the connectedness within the harmonic matrix or geometries of all things is what allows that spark of life force to keep growing and expanding into the beautiful tapestries of creation. Today's question is, how can my highest potential destiny flower and take form in my beautiful new reality? This day is a key day for understanding your next step within the harmonic matrix, for igniting your passion and soul's purpose and that of our planet. It's a lovely day today. Divine blessings for redefining your beautiful existence. In la catch a la keen, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 108, Yellow Self Existing Star. The mantra, the code for today is I define in order to beautify, measuring art, I seal the store of elegance. With the self existing tone of form, I am guided by the power of flowering. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. And on this powerful day of activations, transformations, and manifestations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue our work. If you'd like to help support our work, our mission, and help us continue bringing these daily transmissions to the world, you can make a monthly pledge to our Patreon page at whitegoldeagle.com. Now I'd like to thank our Divine Angel of the Light for your anonymous donation today. Thank you very much, Divine Angel. We appreciate you and your support. And we appreciate all of you that continue to support us in our work and mission. We couldn't be doing this work without you. So we're very grateful for each and every one of you. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal or Stripe accounts. Both links are at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also welcome and thank Divine Sis Star of the Light, Becca Wood, for your pledge and support on YouTube memberships. And welcome to the Tribe of the Eagle and the Condor. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condor's artwork. You could purchase her beautiful handmade goddess totems, zodiac goddesses, healing jewelry, and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmissions with a powerful hymn to our goddess Isis, the high goddess of ancient Egypt. I call upon you, Isis, most graceful and high of the high ones. Hear your lowly servitor and grant your blessings, most full and gentle, you whose crescent moon and stars encompass the world. Wave your arm and strew the glitter dust of many worlds, like seeds to be planted in the vast blackness of space. Step gently across the bridge of many colors, and rest in the mountains of flowers I wish for your offering, that they may shine. Swell the fruit of the land, make mother with child, cause flying birds to nest and bees to swarm, make the endless procession of life grow full and bountiful. 
bring water to the well and rain to the clouds, cause your veils to fall upon barren earth and make it holy. Bring warmth and richness into the hearts of men. O essence of joy without end, radiant beautiful like the sun rising on a clear morning, scattering the clouds and mists of the night into glittering droplets. Stand shining from that cloud which I see above me, Dance on the blossom growing by the fence. Bless the kettle in which I cook my food. Shine your light that I may read by it the wonders of heaven and earth. Call forth fruits in great abundance, mangoes, plums, and sweet cherries, milk and wine, honey and oil, that men may grow with life and health like shining bubbles around a waterfall, rising and falling. Smile down upon us, that we may see you, great mother, set foot upon a flower, wife and lover of sunlight, spread your innocent radiance through the skies, untouched one, that the earth may resound with your praises. From CrystalRivers.com Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful, blessed, and sacred week ahead and powerful fourth day of our 10 galactic activation portal days in a row tomorrow on this powerful moon day, the 22nd, 22 code of the twin flame divine mastery and Heros Gamos union of the eagle and the condor. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. And keep shining your light brightly into the night. Be sure to make this day and every day the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.